everyone, it's Sonia here. Happy Tuesday. So this weekend I did my very first Spartan race and I finished, yay! <laughs> I had originally done it to support a friend and somehow on Wednesday I was like, just because I'm supporting her doesn't mean I don't have to do it. <laughs> and I suddenly panicked. Um, but it was really amazing fun to be out there with um, my team Philanthropit and my daughter who did it with her two friends, yay Kaya, and having the tremendous support of our, our coach Doug. It was just an incredible experience and like all of these physical things, a great life lesson. Because we all face obstacles, whether you're out on a big obstacle course like the Spartan race where you're climbing walls or lifting jugs of water or having to get over weird jungle gyms or climb ropes. Those are all the crazy things that we had to do. And um, in life, we have equally as crazy things or challenging things that we have to move through or over or under. and. One of the things that I learned actually early on in training was, once again, the power of visualization. It's crazy how incredibly effective it can be when you do it. For me, one of the, the hardest obstacles was these bars. You know those little bars that you used to climb when you were like five in the park? And you just like boop, 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 and you get to the other side, well, and then you try it as an adult, and it seems impossible. <laughs> yeah, those. So we had to do these things, and I just, I could not do one. I would just stay there, and then I would get like stuck, and I'd let go to try to grab the other bar, and I'd fall. And I realized that we were gonna have to do a lot of these, probably, and so I started to visualize. I thought, I should use these tools that I know are effective. And it was so interesting because I didn't even want to visualize it. I was stuck in just the thought of visualizing it. And then I, we were getting closer to the race. It was Monday and I'm like, I have to do these. And so I thought, let me, let me really force myself to sit down. And when I started to visualize, when I first closed my eyes, I would be stuck in the visualization. I was stuck doing it as I was thinking about it. I thought, wow, well, it's no wonder I'm stuck. And uh, so I imagined my daughter doing it because she's really good at them and we're almost the same height and weight at this point so I thought it's not a height weight issue this is a mental issue so I imagine her doing it and just like going through really light and free and fun and then I put myself into that and I tried to get that rhythm in my body and I tried to really sense that yes I could do it and get to the other side and then Wednesday night when we went to practice I got up and I did it and I did the whole rung of bars. I was like, yes, it works. It really works. I didn't get stronger between Monday and Wednesday. I imagined it and I imagined it was possible. So it's, it's so powerful. And there was a recent study that I, I read about and it's small, but incredible. Um, they took a small test group and they had them put casts on their arms for a month. And over the course of the month, usually if you have a cast, right, your, your limb or whatever is in the cast gets weaker. Well, these people would visualize for 11 minutes every single day that they were exercising that arm. They wouldn't do anything physically. They would just mentally imagine they were doing all these different exercises. In a month when they took the cast off, they were 20% stronger, 20% by just imagining it. That's unbelievable. That's how powerful visualization can be. So the next thing definitely happened out on a course and that was, I was, I was running with um, two friends, um, my one good friend and her neighbor, and I was a little faster on the stairs and it was just easier to go at my pace there and then wait for the obstacles. So that's what I did. But as I was waiting and looking at the obstacle, I could suddenly feel myself get psyched out. I'd look at these walls that we were supposed to climb and suddenly it got a little taller and I got a little weaker <laughs> and it seemed way more daunting. And I could feel it physically, I would start to shrink inside. And, and then they would come and be time to do it and I thought, 
I, oh, I can't do this. And so I'd have to literally physically change my disposition. You know, I'd pull back my shoulders, I'd get really strong, I'd get determined, and then I'd power through, and then I could do it. So psych yourself in, not out, and physicalize what that feels like. What is it for you when you are psyched up to do something, when you're in your most powerful stance? because it will absolutely positively make a difference. And then the final thing was teamwork. Wow, teamwork, teamwork, teamwork. It was incredible to be out there with people who really cared and wanted you to succeed and to be able to share that back with them. And we all, we all hit our obstacles wherever those mental hangups were. For one, it was the wall, for another, it was this cinder block that we had to carry that was super heavy. For me, it was the rings. I got to the rings and I thought, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Talk about psyching myself out. And sure enough, it ended up being one of the ones that I was not able to accomplish and had to do a whole lot of burpees instead. But, um, but having somebody there to help you, and the, the first of all, we all need a little help over, and so we'd hoist each other up and, and, and down. There was one lift where we had to lift seven, 65 pound um, sandbags, and my friend needed some help, so I was pulling the rope so that she could do it. And we all crossed the finish line, you know, holding hands, because it really made a difference. And having our coach there, he came along and uh, was giving us all tips and guidance and, and really helping to keep us focused and keep us going. So whenever you're about to undertake something challenging, whatever it is in life, maybe it's something in a relationship or work or your children, or maybe it's a physical challenge that you wanna take on, at some point, you're inevitably going to hit that literal or figurative roadblock where you're going to need a little help and having a coach, having a team, having support to get you over that is probably the difference between whether or not you accomplish it or you don't. And so I highly, highly recommend that if you're gonna take on something, and I so hope you do, to, to take on something that's really important and heartfelt and meaningful to you, visualize it, physicalize it, and get help. And I would love, love, love to help support you come to Modicize, send me, an, send me a note, go to any of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and, and tell us what is it that you're trying to get over? What obstacle are you facing? Or what is it that you really want to achieve? Because I want to support you and make sure you can accomplish your dreams as well. So go out everyone, have a wonderful day, week, month, Get your giant heavy medals. <laughs>